My name is Kim Foster Yardley. I'm a clinical psychologist and I specialize in performance. My clients are high performers and they want to be efficient. So I want to give them the advice that will get the best results in the fastest way. I have a whole lot of skills and I have a whole lot of strategies, but not every strategy is going to work for every person. And so I do a thorough assessment. I actually do a performance intake. I would take from that toolbox of strategies and I would tweak with them. So I do believe that therapy and performance psychology in particular, it's a collaborative process, right? So together we go through a trial and error process. So firstly, building up self-awareness. Secondly, educating the person on what strategies I think would probably work for them. And then through trial and error, trying those strategies and putting them in practice. Because it doesn't matter if you have great strategies, if you don't know when to use them, then they don't really work. I mean, that's why self-help books can only help you so far. Our brains actually thrive on action. When you have goals that you're working towards, it, every time you reach a certain level on those goals, you get a dopamine rush. And that dopamine rush actually buffers you against the negative effects of stress. So stress doesn't actually have to be a bad thing. It's not stress in itself that's bad. Our bodies actually need stress. And um, that's probably, I think, part of the reason why languishment happens. It's because there's not enough stress in the environment to keep the body going. So stress in itself is not bad. In fact, there are many benefits to putting yourself under stress because it can actually help you develop resilience and grit and um, keep you motivated and keep you energized. Most of the people in their elderly lives who are healthiest are the ones who are the most active, the most engaged, who are still participating in society. So we have this idea like, oh, if I spend lots of time on a desert island and I just chill, then, and I avoid stress as much as possible, I'll be happy. But the truth is we actually thrive on stress. <laughs> we, actually, we actually need it as human beings.